So brain health um, is determined by two factors really. The size of the brain. So the bigger your brain, the more likely you are to remain healthy. And also what they call cognitive reserve. And cognitive reserve is not, uh, not necessarily linked to the size of the brain. It's also linked to uh, education and uh, all other factors that improve cognitive uh, function. And so, so the, two co the two components of brain health really is brain size uh, and cognitive reserve. And the question is how do you improve both of those? In terms of brain size, just to make sure you get onto a therapy that renders your disease inactive. Uh, I think it's quite clear now that with the more effective therapies, they slow down the brain loss that occurs uh, in people with MS. Uh, just remember that it's also a normal process. We can't stop it from happening. It's going to happen anyway. And then how do we uh, promote cognitive reserve? So that's, uh, there's lots of things that improve, promote cognitive reserve. Making sure you exercise, healthy diet, yeah, make sure you don't get overweight, don't drink too much alcohol, sleep well, um, <coughs> avoid certain medications that can go into the brain and, and, and damage the brain. We uh, also encourage people to stop smoking. You know, we know that smoking is not good for brain health. If you develop another disease like hypertension, diabetes, make sure that those are all controlled. So there's all these uh, aspects of um, brain health that are not really linked to MS, just to lifestyle that are really, really important.